If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. The Geometry tab in the Camera Raw dialog box in Photoshop lets you automatically or manually correct perspective flaws in a Camera Raw image. To show the Geometry tab in the Camera Raw dialog box in Photoshop, click the Edit button in the toolbar at the right side of the Camera Raw dialog box if needed to show the Edit panel. Then click the Geometry tab in the Edit panel that appears to the left of the toolbar to expand it if needed. As shown in the Geometry tab, ensure you apply any necessary adjustments for lens corrections in the Optics tab before applying adjustments using the Geometry tab for optimal results. After that has been done if needed, then apply any perspective adjustments here. To automatically adjust the perspective in a Camera Raw photo, click the Desired Adjustment Type button for the Upright setting. Before applying upright adjustments, if you want to prevent these adjustments from creating blank wedges at the sides of the photo, check the Constrain Crop checkbox in the Geometry tab. To disable upright, if an automatic adjustment you select warps the photo even more, click the Off Disable Upright button. To automatically apply balanced perspective corrections, click the Auto Apply Balanced Perspective Corrections button. Alternatively, to only adjust the level, which often fixes slightly crooked photos, click the Level, Apply Only Level Correction button. To instead apply both level and vertical perspective corrections, which both fixes crooked photos and photos taken from a low level that causes converging vertical lines, click the Vertical, Apply Level and Vertical Perspective Corrections button. Alternatively, to apply level, vertical, and horizontal perspective corrections, which fixes crooked photos and both converging vertical and horizontal lines, click the Full Apply Level, Horizontal, and Vertical Perspective Corrections button. Alternatively, to manually draw guides to fix perspective issues in a photo, Click the Guided Draw Two or More Guides to Customize Perspective Corrections button. Then ensure the Draw Guides button and the Show Guides checkbox that appears below in the Geometry tab are activated and checked, respectively. If desired, to show the Loop tool while drawing your guides, check the Loop checkbox. Then draw two or more horizontal and or vertical lines in the preview image to show Photoshop where to make your desired vertical and horizontal perspective corrections. If needed, to clear the guides you have drawn, click the Clear Guides button that appears in the Geometry tab. Alternatively, to make manual perspective corrections to a camera raw photo, click the Manual Transformations button to expand that section and show its sliders if needed. Then use the sliders or enter values into their adjacent fields to manually correct the photo's perspective issues. To correct vertical tilt, click and drag the vertical slider left or right. To correct horizontal tilt, click and drag the horizontal slider left or right. To rotate the image to fix a crooked photo, click and drag the rotate slider left or right. To adjust the horizontal and vertical aspect ratio, click and drag the aspect slider left to right. To change the scale of the photo, click and drag the scale slider left or right.
to change the horizontal offset of the image, click and drag the offset X slider left or right. To change the vertical offset of the image, click and drag the offset Y slider left or right. To temporarily hide all geometry tab adjustments in the preview image after changing these settings, click and hold down on the eye icon in the upper right corner of the geometry tab in the edit panel. This temporarily hides the changes in the preview image while you hold down on this icon so you can see the changes in the preview image. Simply release the mouse button to restore the visibility of the changes. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.